All right, hey everybody. Um, I realized that when we went through this in class, we went through very quickly. And despite no one asking any questions, I get the sense that there are still questions, or at the very least, um, people were confused about uh, the, pr the little proof that we went through. So rather than going through it in class again and having to fly through it, uh, I thought I'd make a video so that you can watch it over and over again at your leisure and come and ask me any questions if you have any. Um, so when we're calculating the midpoint of a vector or midpoint of a line, uh, we can draw a vector from the origin to M, this uh, point M, which we're gonna arbitrarily call our midpoint at this point. And uh, we can use vector addition to find the coordinates of that point, okay? So what we ultimately want is to say that vector OM is equal to vector A, which is represented by OA. And we're gonna add on to that half of the distance of vector AB because the midpoint is exactly halfway along AB. And so if we can come up with some um, equation that will always work, or in other words, a formula that will always work for um, this situation, that'd be great. Um, we can see that vector A is already represented here. It's a little vector A, so we don't really need to deal with vector OA anymore. What we really need is um, an equation in terms of vectors A and B for vector AB. Uh, so we first got to establish what is vector AB. Well, vector AB, if we use the triangle rule for addition again, and I'm going to draw this in red quite large, we're going to start at point A. We're going to start with vector AO, and we're going to add on to that vector the vector OB, which is going to give us this resulting vector AB. So when, in terms of our um, notation, we're gonna say vector AB is equal to vector AO from A to O plus the vector from O to B, okay? And if we look at our little vector notation, vector A to O is the reverse of vector O to A. So if it's the reverse, we can say vector A to O is minus vector O to A and we're gonna add on vector O to B as before. And we're gonna substitute in our little um, vector notations here, A and B. And so we've got negative A plus B. And we can just rearrange them to have B minus A. Okay, vector B minus vector A will give us this vector AB. And so now we can substitute this solution here, my, uh, vector AB equals B minus A into the original equation. And we get OM, so this is the continuation of this equation. We get vector OM is equal to vector OA. In fact, instead of writing vector OA, I'm just gonna use this term A again. We get vector A and we're gonna add on half of vector AB and we established that vector AB was B minus A. now we just simplify. So we expand those brackets and we get half of vector B minus half of vector A. And now we have a whole vector A and we have a subtraction of half of vector A. So we're left with one half of vector A plus one half of vector B. And if we factorize out that half, we get one half of A plus B which is one half of OA, or vector from O to A, plus the vector OB. And that is our midpoint formula. And so this will work uh, for any vector at all, given that you know points A and points B. In a, another video, I'll show this uh, formula in practice.